This video covers JavaScript data types. The structure of this video is as follows. JavaScript data types. Primary data types. Composite data types. Special data types. JSON and the summary. All right, let's get started. JavaScript data types. D3.js is a JavaScript library for manipulating documents based on data. The keyword being data. For the most part, people use D3.js to do data visualizations, the keyword being data. Being that JavaScript is the language of choice for developing in D3.js, let's learn about the seven different data types available in JavaScript. JavaScript data types can be broken into three main categories. Primary data types, these data types store primitive values. Composite data types, these data types reference addresses which store variables. Special data types. These data types have special uses and cases. Let's start with the primary data types. Primary data types. JavaScript strings are a chain of zero or more Unicode characters. You use a string to represent text in JavaScript. You can use double quotations or single quotations to designate strings. If you use double quotations, you can use single quotations inside of the string. If you use single quotations, you can use double quotations inside of the string. JavaScript also provides escape sequence to create characters that cannot be typed directly. Let's look at some examples in the JavaScript console. As you can see, we can type strings into the JavaScript console. You can use the escape sequence to add in quotations into strings where they would normally cause an error. Using the type of operator in JavaScript tells us the string is a string. JavaScript numbers are numbers plain and simple, positive, negative, or zero. Unlike other programming languages, there is no distinction between integers and floating point numbers. Internally, JavaScript represents all numbers as floating point numbers. Let's look at some examples in the JavaScript console. There are many types and styles of numbers you can write in JavaScript. Using the type of operator in JavaScript, we can check the different examples. We test zero, scientific notation, floating point, hexadecimal, octal, and integer numbers. JavaScript Boolean data types can only have two values, true or false. Boolean values, as we have already seen, are very useful in control statements like an if, then, else function. Let's look at a few examples in the JavaScript console. Using the type of operator in JavaScript, we check the different Boolean examples. Very importantly, you should have noticed that true and false are written in all lowercase letters. Composite data types. JavaScript objects are collections of methods and properties. A method is a function that is a member of an object. A property is a value or set of values that is a member of an object. The world of objects in JavaScript is a deep one. The part of the world that we want to look at is object literals. Object literal JavaScript object creation is used when you only want to create one instance of an object. For a very large part of the D3 work that we will do together, we will only ever want one instance of an object. Let's look at how to create an object literal JavaScript object. As you can see, this created a JavaScript object. For now, we won't cover the other ways to create JavaScript objects. Given our object, we can extract information from the object two ways.
as you can see, we get back the number 20 both times. When you type the second one, if we stop at the period, then we can see the methods and values available. You can see the properties top, right, bottom, and left, as well as several methods available to the object. We can even define our own methods, though we will leave that for later. This is the JavaScript object we created. JavaScript objects can also be called associative arrays. Associative arrays are arrays where the key can be a string rather than an integer, like in a regular array. In other programming languages, this type of data structure can be called a dictionary or map. The data structure consists of keys and values. Because they are called keys and values and are related to each other, they are commonly referred to as key value pairs. JavaScript arrays are merely a special kind of JavaScript object. Both JavaScript objects and arrays have properties and methods. There are two key differences. One, arrays have a length property while regular objects do not. Two, arrays allow for value selection through passing an index number. These two specific differences make arrays very useful. As we already saw, D3 selections are made up of arrays. Let's look at creating arrays in JavaScript. As you can see, both data and margin are both objects. However, the data array has a length while the margin object does not. Lastly, we can check to see if we can get data values out using an index. It works for the data array, though it does not work for the margin object. Special data types. These two data types reflect a lack of something. The null type reflects a lack of value, while the undefined reflects a lack of type and value. This is another deep subject area that we will leave for another time. JSON. JSON is a text-based open standard designed for human-readable data interchange. It was initially based on JavaScript objects. It is derived from the JavaScript for representing simple data structures and associative arrays called objects. It is now an open standard that is programming language independent. As you can see, the difference comes from double quotes around the keys. This will come in very handy as we construct more complicated data visualizations using D3. The summary. This video covered JavaScript data types, primary data types, composite data types, special data types, JSON, and the summary.